Okay, we're here with Robert Monroe from um, Edibon. So tell us a little bit about Edibon. Sure. Uh, so Edibon is a three-year-old startup, and we focus on natural language processing at scale. Uh, we're formed with the goal of bringing language technology to all the world's languages. So we've worked in more than 60 languages today, uh, shipping scalable artificial intelligence that can process those languages. Uh, and we serve this to uh, com uh, companies worldwide. So, and you said three years? That's right, yeah. Wow. Uh, well, what are some of the, the, the major solutions that we can see Edibon offering in relation to natural language processing? Sort of thing? Right. There's a couple of key areas that we work in. Uh, one is in financial services, uh, and the other is in providing the voice of the customer. Uh, so the voice of the customer can very, be very broad. So, for example, we work with uh, so Samsung, largest manufacturer of consumer electronics, to help them understand what people are saying about their products online. Mm -hmm. uh, the largest gaming companies to help them understand what people like or dislike uh, about the, their games. Wow. Um, uh, right through to helping the United Nations uh, process text messages sent by citizens in sub-Saharan Africa. Wow. Um, and that can be anything like responding to a survey, um, uh, to unsolicited messages, um, uh, you know, asking a simple question, right through to someone reporting that, for example, their village is flooded. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, things that affect you know, a company's brand, right through to the things that affect the day-to-day the -day livelihoods and, and health of individuals. Wow, wow. That's really big. And, then, and so an Edibon is based out of... Uh, we're based in San Francisco, San Francisco. Um, so we're uh, 25 people strong um, and wow. a wonderful mixture of engineers and data scientists. Yeah, well, well and you've, been, you've been around for three years, you said 25 people, and uh, I mean, I imagine with the way things are growing in, in um, natural language processing, a uh, piece of big data, I mean, you guys are probably going to be growing substantially over the... We've been growing pretty rapidly, we've doubled in size uh, since this time last year and okay. hope to double again by, by this time next year. Yeah. How are you enjoying uh, Data Day 2016 so far? Oh, I'm really enjoying the Data Day, -day. Um, this time around. We're here last year okay. and I think there might be as many as twice as many attendees yeah. as that there were last year. Yeah. Uh, so it's great to see the, the variety of companies uh, that mm -hmm. are here. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, great to see a lot of the same people, mm -hmm. um, and uh, I'm especially delighted that someone that we met here last year as an attendee, uh, Michelle Casbon, mm -hmm. uh, has since become an employee of Edibon uh, wow. and just gave a talk to a, a packed room. Wow! Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah, uh, and uh, you know, I, I think that's what's what's great about these sort of events. You're, you're probably running into people who you know uh, you, you read their blog posts or you you know see them in the magazines or or you know. Uh, they're you know part of maybe a, a, a suite that you're using on a regular basis, and you get to, you know, how often you get to run into all of them in one, you know. Oh, it, it's great. Yeah, we you know we get to see the person who wrote the APIs for the, the database that, that we're using. Yeah, and it's great about it to sit down and and really share things both ways. And mm -hmm. those vendors as well really enjoy hearing about. The, the way that they plug into different people's architectures. Nice. So, now, so this next question is is a bit uh, just a hypothetical, you know. But uh, in your opinion, uh, you know, be, because of just the rapid growth of whole the whole data, you know, big data, um, uh, you know, industry. I guess you want to call it. Um, you know, is there something that you can project maybe 2016, 2017, what you're looking forward to, what problem you're looking forward to having solved around, uh, you know, your line of work? Sure. So. Uh, the thing that we're, we are solving and that we're, I think, really going to like uh, drive out of the park in the next year mm -hmm. is ensuring that we are shipping technologies that are language independent. Okay. Uh, so on a given day, only about 5% of the world's conversations are in English. Mm -hmm. um, that's how widely spoken English is, about 5% of the world. Mm -hmm. um, however, about 95% of technology <coughs> in my industry, 95% uh, of technology is only built to work in English or only works well in English. Mm -hmm. So there's a real gap. Uh, between uh, the full diversity of the world that's coming online and technologies that are available to work in their language. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and so we're shipping technology that is language independent, mm -hmm. meaning that it's as easy for us to, to become accurate in English as it is in uh, Chinese or uh, Swahili or Bahasa Indonesia. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and so uh, we're just getting to the point now where, where companies realize that they don't have to stick to English. Mm -hmm. um, and we're really happy uh, that we can help so many companies uh, work in 60 languages to date and counting, mm -hmm. um, uh, opening up more of the world to language technology. Nice. Uh, and, and are you finding, <coughs> I think you're probably experiencing some cedar fever from, uh, yeah. Oh, is that what it's called? Cedar the, the fever, yeah. At yeah. this time of year? Yeah, this oh. time of the year. Yeah, I, I am too, and I've <coughs> got some allergy meds I could probably share with you. A I think on. I just breathed in the, the water. <laughs> it's probably more my problem. <laughs> 
strong pipe. Uh, yeah, so um, how about, um, you know, what are the biggest challenges when it comes to um, natural language processing? You know, things like, uh, you know, sarcasm and, and you know, like, is, is it hard to wrap your hands around those things? Or do you guys have a pretty good um, grasp of? Yeah, so uh, the most important uh, component mm -hmm. uh, to become smarter in natural language processing is being um, uh, smart about which data you annotate. Mm. Uh, so uh, you can write some algorithms that might give you a couple of percent better accuracy if you're doing something like sarcasm detention, mm -hmm. uh, sarcasm detention or, or related sentiment analysis. Mm -hmm. um, but really, uh, you want something that might be sarcasm to be put in front of a human and they can go, yes, this is sarcastic or no, this isn't. Mm -hmm. And then have the AI get smarter about automating that process. Nice. And that's the piece that, that we focus on. Mm -hmm. Working out what's ambiguous, what is, what is hard mm -hmm. uh, for machine learning mm -hmm. um, and presenting that in a way so that the AI can get smarter in those problem areas. Yeah, you guys are, are putting together solutions that are going to help so many people worldwide. And, uh, you know, we're glad that you could make it to Data Day Texas 2016. Oh, it's always fun to be here. Thank you for the invitation. Awesome. Cheers. Cheers.